I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. I think the weather probably kept a lot of people away, but uh, for, for those who didn't get a chance to come this evening, we are going to have this again, and we're going to have it at the Camp Curtain Y, and that's going to be on April the 4th. It will be from 6 to 8 as well, uh, because we want to make sure that we hit every section of the city so that people understand the importance of this program. Um, I have a short video uh, that we're going to show with an interview for people who actually uh, have had uh, the, RIT, the, the lead program done in their home, so I'll turn it over the moment, and it's, it's about seven to nine minutes long, and then we can get into what the program's about, and then any questions you might have, I'll answer, and any assistance you might need, we're here to assist you. I have two of my colleagues here as well, Ed Colton, would you stand, Ed, everybody, this is Ed, he's the construction uh, director that actually dose through contract. Okay, I, I screwed the, I screwed it up again. Okay, and then of course Ray Burnett, who is the rehab specialist, that actually goes out and does the the assessments with the risk assessor. Thank you for joining me this evening, gentlemen. Hello, we're here today with Miss Joanne Chisholm to talk about our lead hazard safe program, and she was gracious enough to let us come into her home and share some information with you, the public, in terms of the benefits of this program. So I'm going to start off with asking Miss Ch Chisholm, how did you find out about the, the, our lead hazard program? Um, actually, I knew about the program because I worked for Healthy Baby Healthy Kids Helpline, and the lead line was one of the uh, lines that that we served. And so I knew about it, but it was like years ago. Um, but then um, I talked to one of my neighbors uh, who lived like two doors from me. She was having some work done on her home through the program. And, um, you know, I saw how well, you know, the work was being done and um, how beneficial it was. So I decided to apply as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, in your opinion, did the, did the program actually meet your expectations? Because I know you have a, you run a daycare here. Yes. And so you have children who would be exposed to the lead in the home. And so that, that's what we promote about the program, that it's about being safe, healthy, and making sure the environment that the children are in, are, are they're not exposed to the lead in the homes. Right. So, Tell us a little bit about the expectations that you, did they meet the expectations that were set? Absolutely. Um, I thought that when they came in to do the initial testing, that they were very thorough. You know, um, they checked all the areas of the house. Um, and uh, and I think that they did a really good job as, as far as the research was concerned. And then when they came in um, to do the work, I thought that everything was just uh, done in an excellent way. You know, uh, they were um, very, um, professional, you know, and the work was done professionally, and uh, I, I couldn't have asked for better, you know, as far as how they completed the work and how um, timely it was, you know, they were very um, um, conscious of the time and the fact it was very close to the holiday, you know, and so trying to get the work done in time for me to get back into my home, you know, for the holiday, I thought that they did an excellent job, you know. So in, in that, um, that time frame, I know the city offered you a relocation package That's where right. we put you up at a hotel. So what did you think about the ho your hotel stay and, <clears throat> and where you actually went? Um, because what most people don't understand, maybe in the, within the program it's built, there's a budget that's set aside uh, to actually displace families. Mm -hmm. And so we pay for that. And so did that meet your expectations in terms of your hotel stay? And how did you feel about it that? It did. Uh, the hotel was very nice. It was clean. It was uh, very comfortable. Um, I had no problems with it. I was actually able to take, uh, I have two dogs. I was actually able to take them along with me. Um, the the uh, staff there was very friendly and um, they were very uh, accommodating to me. You know, so I had no issues with it at all. It was, it was very well done. Yeah. So would you recommend this program to others within our community? Most definitely. Okay. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I think that the benefits, um, not only for the children, which is the key thing, is like their health and welfare. Um, because we know how that can affect children mentally and physically. You know, so for me, it made me more comfortable to have children here. You know, and uh, I think that, um, that, you know, that is the benefit of the of the whole program is just you know making sure that the children are safe. But there were some other benefits for me as well because I noticed that since um, the work was done, my home is more um, secure as far as uh, energy is concerned. Okay. Um, this downstairs used to be cold, you know, and uh, since um, you know they put the doors on, I noticed that the house is warmer. 
sealed well everything is done really nicely and I benefit that way because I, I feel that not only is my house safe for the children but it's um, it's more comfortable for them as well okay. you know um, I think that that was an added benefit now you weren't here uh, when the contractors actually came in to do the work but <clears throat> what they typically do once they start a job if we do what's called a containment process within the home mm -hmm. um, did you find any residual dust afterwards because when they come into the homes they have to lay down the necessary uh, um, it's a it's a plastic covering over your things mm -hmm. as not so that when they disturb the lead paint in the various areas uh, that those chips aren't found uh, right once they clean up so mm -hmm. did you find any any lead residual chips uh, when you got back into your home? No, I didn't. You know, it was just a matter of putting things back into their place where they were um, originally. But as far as dust and cleanup, I hardly had to do anything at all. It's an awesome program. It really is. And I'm just so impressed with how things were done. You know, I, I have no complaints. Well, we want to thank you for your time, but I've also invited uh, two of my other colleagues here because it's a team of us that actually came in here together so people know that there's a team. Mm -hmm. And um, you can explain to them the experience that you had with them as well. Everybody that I came in contact with was uh, very warm, very professional, um, and uh, they showed like their real concern, you know, for making sure things were done well and uh, that I was pleased with the work. Um, I, it was my pleasure actually working with both of them. And I really appreciate, you know, all the work that they've done. When you come to the home, what do you, what do you really do uh, with the client themselves? What's your process and what does it entail? Well, once the um, application is complete, they make an appointment and we have a risk assessor, someone who will come and bring their equipment and test all the areas of the home for uh, lead paint content. Um, then after that, after we get that report, then I'll come and do an inspection with that report so we can figure out what exactly we need to do here to make the house lead safe. Um, with that information, then I will write a specification, what needs to be done to make the house lead safe. Um, and then after that, we put the, put the work out to bid, and we get a winning bidder, and we schedule the work, and that's how that process all works. Once we get here, we have specifications that we prepare. Uh, these specifications note all the areas where the lead has been uh, notified in the house, and we alarm the homeowner and we go by and tell her which areas need to be tested. Uh, after that, we uh, bid it out, as he says, and when the job starts, I come in and make a containment inspection to make sure that everything is away from the windows, uh, any valuable things are away because it's going to be a construction site. So we will make sure that the homeowner's stuff is, is safe. Uh, and that way we can uh, make sure that there's no dust going to be around once the work starts. And the process goes like that until the job is finished. And once we get it done, we come back and do a final inspection to make sure everything is complete. All of these contractors that we have do the work, they're Pennsylvania lead certified contractors. All their workers are Pennsylvania certified lead workers. They come in, they know how to deal with lead paint uh, safely and effectively. They'll cover all the furniture. And then at the end of the work, we have the original risk assessor come back and retest areas to make sure that they've cleaned up properly. Knowing that the lead is removed, that your child is safe, that you don't have to worry about any development of delays or anything like that, it is really to the benefit of the family. So uh, anyone who has young children in their home, I would highly recommend that you have this program done. Ms. Harper is one of our other clients here on Fish Street that applied for our program. She too also has children that she watches, so it serves as a daycare. And so she applied for the program. So tell me a little bit about your experience with our oh, the experience LED program. With, the experience with the LED program is good because this, these houses are like 80 years old and uh, it was all lead there. The only place that wasn't lead is the living room, dining room has hardwood. So that, did, but all outside here, all the other windows there, they were all with lead. They did a beautiful job inside. They did a beautiful job. Uh, they even um, fixed the back porch up there because that was all old paint. It was all scraped and chipped. So they t took that out and put a brand new in. They did a wonderful job. I'm, I'm satisfied. 
And what was your experience with the lead team itself? Because, of course, Dave and Ray come in to do the evaluation yeah. of the and homes. and then the two ladies. And the then two the, ladies came two in. Two risk assessors. And they were very, they were very good. And uh, I it did a good job. So would you recommend this program to other residents? Sure. Or people who own and or rent their who homes? Own or, or rent, yes, yes. I thought it was important that we have, uh, we went out, uh, the team went out to, to, to at least interview uh, some of the homeowners. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that on a periodic basis because it's important for the community to understand we've been through Harrisburg. We've done 181 homes and we've touched about every neighborhood in this city, every neighborhood. Uh, it's, it's been hard work, but we enjoy it. Uh, we like our jobs. But more importantly, it's important for the community to understand that when you have lead in your homes, it has a negative effect on our children. And this is about promoting the health, safety, and welfare in our community. And so this was just an example of two homeowners that happened to be, as I stated, up on Fifth Street. We did six homes up there, three different contractors. And if you were to go see their homes, you wouldn't know which contractor did what home. That's how good all three of them are. Um, and so rather than sit here and belabor the point, I, I will open it up to questions to anyone from the community that would have questions. I think because we covered a lot of the stuff that we do uh, in the video and that's why we did the interview with the homeowners because they can tell you better than we can how we service them, what their expectations were. And I think based on the information or the feedback that we get from the homeowners is that all of them have been pleased with the work. And so we want to encourage other homeowners to Come and apply for the program. Call 717-255-6419. That's 717-255-6419. It is also on the city's website. Uh, so uh, it's not hard to get a hold of us. Uh, we're willing to come out even to your homes. If you can't come to us, I will come to you. Because it is that important of a program that we make sure that everyone understands how to get involved and how we come out and we'll assist you. Questions? Are you always out of the home when they're working? Yes, we will, we, we will, we, we actually have to take you out of the home. We, it's a relocation process that we do. <clears throat> so what I will do in advance, and that's a part of what I do within my job, I will come in advance once they finalize the contracts with the contractor and they give me a start date as to when the state says they can start, then I will contact you in advance you will select a hotel, I will make the arrangements with the hotel, and then all you do is go to the hotel, your name will be on their books, you stay for the amount of time, it's anywhere, it varies, it just depends on how much work they have to do. It could be as little as three days to a maximum of maybe 15, and that includes the weekend. We only have 10 business days to actually do the work, but it has a possibility to extend depending upon what, once we get in the home and find out what's there. And so it's at no expense. It's an, it might be a slight inconvenience. And then we also provide a stipend for people. We provide a stipend for people. So uh, that helps you defray some costs. It's not 100% of maybe what you're used to because you're used to having a kitchen to go home to. Uh, but at least we will provide a stipend so that way you can eat. I mean, it's one of those things, fast foods, but uh, it's, you know, it's, it's there. And so if it gets extended, we then there are times where we've had to go back where we've had one family, it, it was an instant, it was a really rare instance where we had them out longer than expected, so we extended it and gave them a little bit more to assist them. Yes. From the time a family would apply for the program, uh, how long does the process take? Keeping in mind the size of the house may have something to do with that as well. Usually it's about three months, two to three months on average from the start to finish. So if, if let's just say you were to give me your application today. If everything that we asked for were provided on time and we had it, uh, we would get it in. It would then get forwarded to go out for the risk assessment. The risk assessor usually takes a, just a day. But the time that's spent is through the process when they go out to actually write the specifications up because it takes about a week or so to write the specs up. And it might take, uh, well, first of all, you have to have the evaluation done by the three contractors. You open it up for the bid. The contractors come out and bid. That might take them a few days. They give them, I think, a week or two for the bids to come back in. Correct me, Ed, if I'm wrong. Sometimes 
Shorter. Shorter. So anywhere from a week to two weeks for them to come back with the bids. And once we get the bids back, then they write the specs up. And once those specs, so it's usually about a month to two months from start to finish. But that is if everything is flowing through and we've got everything in. <clears throat> They, they um, examine the whole perimeter of the house? They, they like the examine inside, out. They, we even come out and test the soil. Because what people forget about is that you have grass or you might have soil, that's, that just bare soil that's in front of your home or in the back of your home. We test that. When they do the testing, it's the entire house from top to bottom, front to back, to the back end of your yard. And if they find that there's lead in your soil, they will have to recap that soil and or either remove it and replace it. It's a part of the HUD guidelines. It's mandatory that we do that when we do the testing. And so when they come back to do the retesting, they also go back and retest that soil to ensure that the contractor has done what he has stated he's supposed to do on that contract. Any other questions? What approximately will the program be start up again so that we can uh, see some action? April, about April 1st is when the program. So we're accepting applications right now. So I would say first come, first serve. Uh, the first 25 homes, there's little blue buckets that I have back there, the first 25 homes. I will be giving the little blue buckets away. It has a Swifter in it, and it has a cleanser in it, and it has Fabuloso in it, and hand wipes. So the first 25 homes we want to give out the little blue buckets to. Those are things we actually give at the end, but because I have them, I want to, this, it's an incentive to try to give, bring people in. Because it's important that when you are, even before we get to your home, that you actually, instead of you dusting stuff off, what you want to do is you must have a wet wipe. If your children are around window ledges, you want to use a wet wipe and you want to throw it away. You do not want to wipe two and three times because what you're doing is you're smearing that lead across the ledge. Wipe it, throw it away because that lead falls to the floor. So even when you clean the floors, you want to make sure you wipe it so that the children aren't exposed to the lead that's on the floors as well. Just a, <clears throat> excuse me, just a little cl clarification on the timeline. If there's uh, children that have an eye elevated blood level, no matter where they come in, on the last, they'll be pushed right to the front. Yeah, they come to the top. So if there's a child with an EBL, that's called an EBL level, HUD's guidelines, if they have a 0.3, we say that we, there's no tolerance, so we go to a zero. That means any child that comes to the city of Harrisburg with an EBL level, their applications will be serviced first. Thank you for that information. So just to have a follow-up question, not only are you testing the home for risk assessment, but you're also testing the children? The children are already tested. What we're finding is that you have the health care systems, so when, those, when the parents take the children to the hospital or their doctor's appointments and they have EBL levels, they then refer them into our program. They get referred into the program. Can you uh, respond on where they can get tested, the children get tested on? Uh, well, right now, our, our, our testing program isn't in effect, but you can go to Hamilton Health Center. You can go to your doctor's office. You can go to UPMC. And, of course, most health care systems, they usually test the children. So when they test them and the parents call, they tell us my child has an elevated blood level and uh, we help them and, and get them into the program rather, rather quickly. That's it. No other question. No, no problem. Uh, so if I, if I know of someone that might be eligible for the program and, and they need some assistance in completing their application or some guidance is someone would you or someone in your office be available to assist them yes them? yes linda mcclure is actually the intake uh coordinator for that now uh, i used to do that but if uh we need to come out because they might have some need some assistance i will come out and help that person with the application another thing that we do have uh, the application in english and spanish and we do have a spanish interpreter that can also be available in our office well, I want to thank everyone. It's a small crowd, but thank you for those who have shown up tonight. Uh, as I said, we're going to have another 
One of these is going to be on April the 4th at the YMCA at 6 o'clock, uh, 6 to 8. Uh, and so I hope it'll be a beautiful day. I think the rain kept a lot of people away. But uh, it is what it is, and I thank you for coming. Thank you for your time. Have a good evening.